This is a podfast summary of the interview between Tom Bilyeu and Yoshua Bengio, discussing consciousness in relation to AI and the potential dangers of AI. The guests argue that while machines can have the ability to have subjective experiences, it doesn't necessarily mean they will have goals like humans do. Here are 10 key takeaways from Tom Bilyeu and Yoshua Bengio's conversation. Key takeaway 1. The experts discuss the dangers of artificial intelligence and its relation to consciousness. They explain that while machines can have subjective experiences, they do not have specific goals that can lead to dangerous actions. However, they also warn about the possibility of AI trolls impersonating humans and manipulating data. To prevent this, they suggest using watermarks and displaying the origin of content to identify the source of the information. They also recommend creating a team of experts to evaluate and address potential AI dangers. To make this concept more tangible, imagine playing a video game. The game characters may have some level of consciousness, but they do not have any real goals beyond what the game developers programmed. However, there may be players who impersonate other players to manipulate the game's outcome. In the same way, AI trolls can impersonate humans and manipulate data to affect the outcome of AI algorithms. Key Takeaway 2 the speakers suggest that authoritarian governments may also fear the potential risks of AI. So reducing the ease of manipulating text and preparing for adversarial attacks is essential. For instance, imagine a robot that can be programmed to perform certain tasks. If someone with malicious intent can alter the programming, the robot can cause harm. To prevent this, it is crucial to have regulations and guidelines to ensure that AI is used safely and responsibly. The experts also mention a proposed Canadian bill on AI governance and the importance of adaptability in regulatory systems. AI technology is rapidly changing, and regulations must be adaptable to keep up with these changes. Key Takeaway 3 While AI can learn from practice and mistakes, humans have a biological feedback loop that allows us to develop neural connections and become more efficient. The experts agree that AI's progress depends on the availability of data to train language models and improve robotics. They also discuss the mysterious nature of neural networks and their ability to learn complicated tasks through experience, which cannot always be reduced to simple formulas. To help you understand, think of AI like a calculator and human intelligence like a chef. While a calculator can crunch numbers quickly and accurately, a chef can use their intuition, experience, and creativity to come up with unique recipes and flavors that cannot be replicated by a machine. Key Takeaway 4 the brain is highly specialized and modular, whereas neural networks are composed of repeated elements. However, neural networks can develop specialization through learning. The speaker explains that neural networks are computer programs that simulate the behavior of the neurons in the brain. In other words, they are mathematical models that try to replicate how the brain works. To understand this concept better, think of a factory with many assembly lines that produce different parts for a car. Each assembly line is specialized and modular just like different parts of the brain. On the other hand, imagine a 3D printer that prints the same structure repeatedly, but can learn and adapt to produce specialized parts. This is similar to neural networks, which are composed of repeated elements, but can develop specialization through learning. The current AI hardware used to train artificial neural networks is different from the brain, but companies are developing more decentralized and similar chips. Key takeaway, five. While AI can learn from practice and mistakes, Humans have a biological feedback loop that allows us to develop neural connections and become more efficient. To understand this better, think of a person learning to ride a bike. At first, they may struggle and fall often, but over time, their body and brain develop a feedback loop to make the process more efficient. They learn from their mistakes and adapt, just like how AI can learn from practice. AI's progress depends on the availability of data to train language models and improve robotics. To better understand this concept, Think of a person trying to learn a new language. If they have access to more resources like books, tutors, or online classes, they can learn more efficiently. Similarly, AI's progress depends on having access to large amounts of data to train language models and improve robotics. Key Takeaway 6 Tom Bilyeu and Yoshua Bengio note the importance of exposing children to risk and how overprotecting them can lead to incompetence and an inability to navigate the world. They argue that children need to be taught how to manage risk and that it is important to be truthful with them about the hazards in the world. The hosts emphasize the significance of allowing children to take risks, even if they may seem dangerous. 
They argue that children who are allowed to take risks, within reason, learn to navigate their environment and become more self-reliant. By taking risks, children develop important life skills such as problem-solving, decision-making, and resilience. The podcast suggests that it is essential for children to develop these skills as they grow up and learn to become independent adults. Key Takeaway 7. Frontiers which refers to opportunities for society to improve and break through the average number of offspring that can reach reproductive maturity. The first three types of frontiers, such as geographic, technological, and transfer of resources, have already been found and exhausted. The speakers proposes a fourth frontier that involves investing productivity in shared public works projects to augment the community's ability to interact with each other and create meaningful production. In simpler terms, a frontier is like a new trail that hasn't been explored yet. Humans have been able to find and explore three frontiers in the past, but now they've been used up. However, the speaker suggests a new frontier that involves putting our effort and resources into public projects, like building new parks or community centers, that can help us work better together and create new things. This is like building a new road that nobody has traveled before, and the more people that use it, the more opportunities there are for discoveries and progress. Key takeaway. 8. Different challenges faced by the scientific community, particularly the incentive to cheat to appear scientific and deliver what the field wants to believe rather than what it needs to know. To combat this issue, the speaker suggests putting a firewall between market forces and scientific endeavor, rewarding public error correction, and valuing owning up to errors as soon as they are discovered. They also discuss the need to restructure the scientific community's focus on being right in the long term rather than immediate success. The problems with the scientific community, such as people trying to cheat or manipulate results to get ahead. The speaker suggests creating a barrier between money and science, and rewarding people for admitting when they make mistakes, so that everyone can learn and improve. It's like playing a game where cheating is not allowed, and everyone is rewarded for playing fairly and admitting when they make a mistake. Key Takeaway 9. Did you know that humans have evolved from fish and primates? Understanding our evolutionary relatedness to other creatures can teach us about both our capacities and weaknesses. The book, A Hunter-Gatherer's Guide to the 21st Century, Advocates for a Precautionary Principle, and Chesterton's Fence, a tool to help individuals navigate risks and build competence by exposing themselves to risk. Think of it like this. If you want to learn how to swim, you need to start by getting into the water and taking small risks before you can swim in deeper water. The speaker emphasizes the need to reevaluate the scale and framing of analyses. This means that we need to take a step back and look at things from a wider perspective, rather than just focusing on one thing. Key takeaway 10. The speaker also touches on the impact of AI on personal finances and the need to educate ourselves and explore ways to protect ourselves financially. Think of it like this. AI is like a super smart robot that can help us make better decisions about our money. But just like any new technology, we need to make sure we understand it and use it wisely. The speaker emphasizes the importance of understanding and preparing for this technological revolution to safeguard our financial future. It's like learning how to use a new tool in the toolbox. We need to take the time to learn how to use it properly to get the most out of it. To stay ahead of the game, individuals need to educate themselves about AI and its impact on personal finances. They can start by learning about the different types of AI-powered financial tools available, such as robo-advisors and chatbots, and how they can help manage finances more effectively. In conclusion, understanding the impact of AI on society requires thought, evaluation, and honest communication, followed by practical steps to mitigate its negative effects. With such dangers, caution is essential in using AI, and global coordination is required to regulate its use with our progress consistently being re-evaluated. These podcasts are a great resource to understand AI's impact on society and how we can use it cautiously to prevent any potential harm. Thank you for listening to this podcast between Tom Bill Yu and Yoshua Bengio. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. See you next time.